I have the pleasure now to speak to Peter Gottron, uh, Investment Director at Beechbrook Capital, who will give me a little bit of an eagle-eye view of the situation. Uh, Peter, thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Sure, pleasure, pleasure. So, uh, Peter, uh, you uh, are responsible for uh, deciding uh, on the companies that you invest your focus on and obviously also your money. Um, what kind of criteria do you typically look at and what are the sectors that are most interesting to you? We, we are pretty sector agnostic. Uh, we can do everything that basically is ESG compliant. Uh, so we, we, we look at asset light businesses as well, uh, like, like uh, a topic here at this conference, software businesses as such. And uh, we, see, we see a lot of, of these companies currently uh, in need for financing. Uh, on one hand growth financing, on the other hand acquisition finance because these companies are attractive to private equity investors as well and then uh, our core business is to provide the acquisition finance for that. Um, and these companies are, are interesting and, and um, we look at companies that are very successful and identified a niche to be successful in and have a unique selling point over the, over the competition. Uh, we see a lot of software as a service businesses these days. Um, the beauty of that is that we have recurring revenues we can lend on and lend against. Um, and that's, this, this makes the companies uh, cash generative and very attractive for private equity investors and uh, for private debt investors. If uh, these criteria are not entirely met, let's say uh, the recurring revenue part needs a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of work, uh, how do you typically go about that? Do you uh, get in an external party or do you uh, take a look at this yourself? Um, uh, both. Um, in general, we uh, liaise with the private equity sponsor, i.e. with the new owner of the company and uh, have a diligent view on their business plan, on their strategy, how to bring the company to the next level and that is then the business plan important to us. Um, for these uh, um, young entrepreneurs as well as the investors, are there any uh, hot tips that you have? Uh, I know there's no one size fit all, fits all solution but maybe there are some best practices. Um, well, best practices is uh, if you if you start the business, is you, you have the you need to have the right idea. Uh, you need to develop it properly, and more importantly, you need to market it even better. So the marketing is is, is almost uh, as important, if not more important, than the product itself to establish it in the market and to be successful against its competition. Um, so that that is one thing, and then identify the right strategic partner for the next steps. And this uh, this especially if you if you want to sell or taken a private equity investor on board this is uh, is a very very important uh, topic to to address we're looking at a series of conferences right now that are happening in Vienna uh, we're at one right now um, uh, what kind of impressions have you had uh, during the course of the day and what kind of uh, learnings do you think you're gonna walk away with uh, this evening uh, the impression is extremely positive because it brings all parties together uh, the the sponsors the investors uh, the companies the tech companies um, uh, advisors so this is uh, where you have the ability to create a network in all areas uh, and this is where you can benefit on uh, from the future and uh, what I take away is that uh, it, it is never is a waste of time to attend such a conference and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one thank you so much Peter for your time it's pleasure. been a great pleasure likewise thank you very much